All right, Bravo, you know what to do. Oh, what the frick? Okay, never mind, never mind, that's not gonna work. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's get into it. Here is your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, I better get one heck of a paycheck for hitting the Major League. Oh, seven coins again, okay. <laughs> and Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Yeah, I guess I'll be getting a key to the Major League locker room now. Oh, wait a minute. What was he looking at? He was looking in his drawer at something. <laughs> what was that? Mr. Grubba, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. m, -m miss Jolene, you mind your manners now. We knock round here, missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, nun. Now, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh yeah, Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something-something for you. Go on, take it. Ooh, dang. Yeah, thank you, sir. So yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe with some frills or something. You'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, pod. Take a powder, okay? I assume take a powder is like slang for a nap or a rest or something. <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Okay, now I guess I get to go into the Major League locker room. Let's see what this is like. Okay, there we go. That looks a much better already. This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. All right, the Major Leagues. Oh, and they even added a little privacy curtain for the bed. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! Oh, boy. Studley guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? Ha ha ha, what a waste of time. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt? What in the- Hey, you, get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only cause we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! Okay then. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Oh. Okay, so it's actually fake. I thought, I thought maybe it was like a... A ploy to try and get him to be like, huh, what's this, and then look at the belt, but no, I guess it's fake and the, re and the real crystal star is somewhere else. Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. From X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Yeah, I don't even know where I would begin looking to find this X. Well, the only tip I got from X was to heed their instruction, but they didn't give me any instructions to heed, so... I'm assuming maybe they'll send another email after a fight? Let's do it. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 9 in the Glitz Pit. 
the Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Okay, I think I can live with that. Bravo seems to be doing some real damage. And if they're Spinies, that means that Bravo might actually be the perfect partner in this fight. Gotta go with who brung you. A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pod. All right, well, I guess let's start off with a Quake Hammer because that should flip them over. If not, it should at least do some damage. Yeah, perfect, it did both. All right, and now do this. Loop, bam. Yeah, there we go, we freaking killed it. Okay, so now that we've had a fight, will we get another email from X? Or do we just keep on doing fights until we get to the until we get to a certain rank? I don't really have any other tips to go on, so yeah, I guess we just keep on fighting. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked eight in the glitz pits, the poker faces. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let your enemies damage you five times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is too one-sided. You hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah, I guess we have been absolutely obliterating the competition so far. <laughs> now get in there and kick some behind. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> well, hopefully they don't do a whole lot of damage. So, defend. And defend. All right, here they come. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, ooh. That didn't count as me taking damage, did it? Because I didn't take any damage. Okay, maybe instead of defending, maybe instead I will appeal just to, like, charge up the... Just to get myself some star points. Okay, there we go. They only do one damage apiece. I can live with that. Alright, there we go. Five instances of damage. Now we can fight them at our leisure. All right, Bravo, you know what to do. Oh, what the frick? Okay, never mind, never mind. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> you know what to do. Oh shit, he's been impaled. Yeah. There we go. That did it. <laughs> Sorry about uh, getting you spiked there, little buddy. Ah, here we go. We got another email. Gonzalez, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. From X. It's from our mystery X dude. Go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Alright, well, let's take a quick nap beforehand because we did take a wee bit of a beating in that fight. And now we gotta go find this watering hole. My immediate thought is that they're possibly referring to, like, the juice shop that was out there. Either that or there's an actual watering hole out there somewhere. Oh, hey! Check it out! I got a poster! Heck yeah! Dang, they made me look cool. Like all the, you know, ethereal purple smoke around me. <laughs> I look like a real menace. Alright, let's see if I'm right about this. Well, that toad that was here before seems to be gone. You, Mr. Disco Dog, did you see where she went? Ah, uh, my lovely mademoiselle, she is one tough cookie, as you would say, huh? Oh, I cannot even sleep. The pink spots on that head invade my very dreams. Okay, that's cool and all, but did you see where she went? Because I have a feeling that she's important. Maybe there's like another door that leads to like behind the arena or something. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is something. So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Humph. Fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Okay, well, guess I need to figure out how to open this here door. Maybe I should, uh, talk to Mr. Grubba? This is Mr. Grubba's office. You may only enter when called by Mr. Grubba. Okay, then, that doesn't help me. What is this room here? This is a Major League locker room. 
You can only enter your designated locker room. Sorry, regulations. Okay, so this basically is just, uh, this is basically just mirrored on the other side, I guess. You, are you X by chance? Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever heard of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets in spades, but... The Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. So how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Sure, this might actually help me out a lot. <laughs> Let's see, which one do you want to hear about? The Sealed Wall, the Man-Eating Toilet, that's terrifying, the Stairs of Mystery, the Haunted Boudoir, the Spooky Ring Lights, the Missing Ones, Grubba and Jolene. Maybe Grubba and Jolene? That might give me a lot of information I need to find the watering hole. Grubba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did, huh? You think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. So I guess that means that there's some sort of secret passage in Ch most Miss Jolene's bathroom? Are we gonna have to invade her room? <laughs> oh no. Sure, let's hear about the rest of these. Let's see if they give me any information. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. Okay? Gross. <laughs> okay, now for the one that just absolutely gives me the heebie-jeebies, the man-eating toilet. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. The stairs of mystery? They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. The haunted boudoir. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. So far the only one that's giving me any real pertinent information has been the Grubba and Miss Jolene one. Oh, well, I've only got two of them left, might as well hear the rest of them. So the ring lights, what are these about? My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. Okay, that might actually be some. That just leaves the missing ones. Sounds like a creepypasta title. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Okay. So yeah, now we have the information on the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit. Not sure it, how much it helps us, but whatever. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't really have much I can do here. Am I still allowed to enter the minor league locker room that I was in before? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, so much for that. Let's just set up another fight then, I guess, and then see if uh, X sends us another email, because I cannot find where the heck the watering hole is. Oh, what? Hold on, wait. Match reservation privileges for the Great Gonzalez are currently suspended. Okay, so I literally can't set up another match until I find the watering hole. Wait a minute. Hold on. Occupied, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'll, I'll leave you to it. So there's gotta be some kind of secret hidden somewhere in Glitzville that I'm missing. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Lately, when our eyes meet, my heart begins to race. <sighs> I sigh just thinking about him. Well, uh, I'm sure if you just went up and asked him out on a date, he might say yes. So just, you know, buck up and do it. <laughs> this is really the only info I can give, even though I've never been on a date in my life. <laughs> you guys must have seen something, right? Yo, yo, Great Gonzalez, two questions. How are you feeling today? And if you were a soda pop, what flavor would you be? 
Well, I'm feeling pretty good right now, and if I were a soda pop, maybe... Orange? How about you with the camera? Did you see anything? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're Gonzalez, ain't you? Let me take a shot. Okay, I guess they didn't see anything. Okay, I feel like I've explored the whole arena, and I can't even set up a fight yet until I find the watering hole. So where in the heck am I supposed to go? Maybe I can give them a call? The weather in Glitzville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See the sunglasses my butt has on? They're prescription. He has cloudy vision. Ha! <laughs> nice. Badoom ching. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a little gap behind this building. Can I slip through that? Dang it, doesn't look like it. Frick, I thought I was onto something there for a second. I'm trying to think of where I haven't possibly gone, but nothing's coming to mind. Is there someone here I can pay to get, like, information from? Maybe you? Hey, what's shaking, dude? Keep it clean out there, okay? Prince Mush always did. I could use a couple extra coins, so I'll just bet on Rockhawk again. Rockhawk will never lose, unless Prince Mush suddenly appears, and that ain't likely. All right. How about you? Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Oh, you've been waiting for me. Okay, we might be onto something here. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this the letter was talking about is this. A super hammer. Dang, okay. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Want to learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate until your body twists up. Then release B to perform a super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to release it now. Go, there we go. All right, <laughs> put my spine back in order. Oh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. You want to try it again? No, I got it. Pretty simple. Okay, great. You've mastered the super hammer. Ah, okay, with the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle, too. Try it. See you later, Mario. Good luck with your quest. Okay, okay, that might have opened up a path for me. So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. The Hammerwhack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip. High bonkability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Oh, I got another email. Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room from X. Okay, that's what I figured. The blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? I wonder what's behind that. I'm not sure, but uh, the thing is, I need to figure out a way to get back into the minor league locker room. <laughs> Am I just supposed to lose a bunch now? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I'm allowed in. All right, cool. Thanks, buddy. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, no hard feelings? It was a good fight. All right. Let's see what's behind this. Yar! Ooh, okay, that looks important. Uh... Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, get up here, bravo. He... <laughs> okay, I completely screwed that up. All right, hold on, let me set up again. I meant to do the flutter jump and then go. Oh, dang it, okay. And get as close to the edge as I can. Hop on, bravo, and go. Yay, I made it. I got a dubious paper. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Oh, 
Uh, hi. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? Uh, no reason. Definitely not anything suspicious. This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Oh dear. Well, that sucks. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. Yep, yeah, but I guess we'll need to do a lot more investigating before we can find it. For the time being, I guess we just gotta set up another match. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!